Hi, and welcome to the GS channel. To all the newcomers, welcome to our little community. I hope you like the videos. And to the GS subscribers, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Hey, Dala, thank you for your support and wonderful comments. And also, Bruce, thanks so much for your support. Now, if you haven't seen Bruce's channel, then you're missing out. Bruce is a great astrophotographer, and he's found a lot of anomalies on our moon. So check it out at Bruce Sees All. I'll leave a link in the description. Right, now, I have a video coming up on reincarnation, and should be up soon. But before I do, I just wanted to touch on karma firstly, which is cause and effect, produced by our thoughts, words and actions, and how it leads us into the reason for rebirth. Where does karma come from? Well, a guru or holy man might say something like, well, as all this exists, so does it arise. And because all this is produced, it is produced. And therefore, due to our ignorance, karmic formation arises. Hmm. So what does that mean? The clue is in the statement that it is produced. The only thing that we produce are thoughts. The thoughts are produced by our minds. So our minds are the source of the arising karmic formations. Due to our ignorance of our own true nature, that we are empty of any true existence from our own side. But how can that be? I exist. I'm here right in front of you. But I only exist from your side, as you categorize and name me to be this or that. And in doing so, you lead yourself into karmic consequences due to the thought, word and action. The truth is that the mind does not exist in our constructed reality, but is instead interdimensional, as it must be because how could it operate as a part of our constructed reality, even when it does not exist in any form that is produced by our deceptive view of what we think ourselves and our reality to be? So, therefore, how can karma exist in our reality if it is produced by something that does not exist in our constructed reality? The answer is, it can't. Karma is an illusion, brought about by our ignorance, and that the only karma we truly face is what we truly believe we deserve. But what about bad things happening to good people? Well, like entropy, we do not see the body of a person growing old before our eyes, and we can't see the history of our minds, as they are beginningless, and the basic underlying personality of the mind that grows with each moment, taking with it what it clings to, life after life after life. And due to the arising of karmic formation, our consciousness arises over and over with each death. Our thoughts, words and actions lead us on a never-ending cycle of suffering. So, the reason we keep coming back is due to our mind's need to have form. So, we are produced and therefore exist only in the mind. And now, because we have form, for example, a human body, we have the arising of the senses. So due to our senses, contact with this reality is unavoidable. And when we come into contact with our reality, feelings arise. And those arising feelings are classified into what feels good and what feels bad. And our minds basically work this way. So you can see how karma can arise. For example, sometimes things that feel good to us, that could be bad for us, are no good, but our minds only know what feels good and what feels bad, and fires thoughts into our consciousness. And we are led down some dark alley because you can smell hot dogs cooking. And you know how good they're gonna taste until some crazy jumps out and mugs you. Yeah, karma. And those feelings become cravings as they grow more constructed within the framework of our minds. We then find ourselves grasping at what we crave, unable to let go. And when we look at all this together, we see our existence. 
we exist in a state of dependence upon all this criteria. And due to existing, we suffer aging, sickness and death, we suffer sorrow, grief, unease of mind, conflict and strife. And that's why we produce karma, life after life after life. But in saying that, it allows us the opportunity for us to be able to end suffering, old age, sickness, death and rebirth. By overcoming ignorance, then karmic formation would cease, and likewise the cessation of suffering. And with that said, this has been Graham Sampton. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to share, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.